Stand if you think I have friends. Stand if you think I have friends. Stand if you think I'm ugly. Oh, come on. So, I've been feeling down lately, not having an idea of the type of game I want to make. Then, I remembered the first law of motion from the great scholars of our time. First law of motion? Get your ass up. So I did. I got up and started a new project in my game engine. I'm thinking of making a survival game called Lost Expedition. Where you're scientists who crash on an island and you have to survive to rescue come. Let's start by making a simple prototype. Meet our boy Cube. Now let's make Cube black and let's give him a gun. What do you mean by that? Hey, chill, chill, chill. It's a joke. Do not cancel me. FBI, open up! Now, let's add an enemy called Bigger Cube. Let's make Bigger Cube red, cause you know, bad guys are always red. And over here, we have a simple scene of a cube shooting the enemy. I promise you, this took me an entire weekend to make. Oh god, this is not gonna be fun. If you take a look at our map, it's just a flat plane. Nothing special. What's the logical decision? A. Build a custom map hand by hand. Or B. Generate one from code. If you said build one from scratch, congratulations, you win a medal and a mansion to live with your first app. Just kidding, you're dumb. I'm a programmer. Obviously, I'm gonna generate one from code. There's just one problem. I have no clue how to do that. Okay, so apparently, we need something called procedural generation. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is procedural generation? It's basically when you generate things procedurally. I, 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 I'm playing, I'm playing. Procedural generation is when we use code to generate our world based on certain parameters. It's used in games like Minecraft and No Man's Sky. To implement this, I went on YouTube and I found this tutorial series by Sebastian League. So, the first thing we need to do is use purling noise to generate random numbers for a noise map where 0 is black and 1 is white. But, instead of just black and white, we loop through these colors based on the values. So lower areas become water, mid values become sand or grass, and the higher values can become rock. Using that, we're able to generate this basic terrain right here. But, when I try to walk on it, we just fall straight through. To fix this, first we have to say goodbye to our boy Cube. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Replacing our boy Cube with our boy Bean, as Bean is more industry standard for collisions. To make the terrain walkable, we have to go to each terrain chunk we generate, take all its vertices and indices, take its vertices and indices, move them into a buffer, <gasps> take the buffer and send it to the back end physics engine and video the depth and tell it to generate collision mesh. Now we can walk on the map, but it kind of looks very very boring. Well, first of all, look at the water in our scene. It's just a flat plane, and it's absolutely horrendous. So, how do we fix it? I coded water using fast Fourier transform waves. It's a very complex topic, so we're not gonna dive deep into it this video. But do you get it? Dive water? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. But if you're interested in the topic, I've made a video about this before. But I do wholeheartedly advise you, do not watch it. That video is absolutely horrendous. But if you're truly interested in the topic of fast Fourier transform waves, go watch Acer Roller's video or Jump Trajectory. Now we have water, but let's actually add some things to the terrain, like trees. I grabbed some free tree models online and threw them into the engine. Remember that thing about a noise map earlier? Well, we can generate a new one and wherever it's dark, we spawn trees. The map is looking so much better. Hello, Mother Nature. So, so, I know now you're asking, where's the gameplay for the game? And yeah, I get it. But procedural generation is not a joke. And on top of that, I'm also building my own custom game engine. Which means I'm also building a game and the tools to make the game from scratch. So yeah, it takes time, but it's all part of the grind. I've got some crazy stuff coming soon. So, hit like if you like and hit dislike if you dislike. Make sure to subscribe to make sure your life stays upright.